Claude Sonnet 4.5, better than Claude Opus 4.1 in building softwares, asking them to create interactive 3D objects like this and comparing its performance. They also introduce Claude Agent SDK, creating application just by giving prompts. Inbuilt context management, Claude Code for VS Code, integration with Google Chrome, provide any task within your own browser and it can automatically work for you. Testing Claude Sonnet, simulating terrains. Here choosing Claude Sonnet 4.5 and then generating a terrain and clicking send. Now it started generating and here is the terrain. This is really nice and the movement is very smooth as well. And we are going to compare Claude Sonnet 4.5 versus Opus 4.1. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Claude Sonnet 4.5 is clearly beats all of these models such as Gemini 2.5 Pro, GPT-5, Claude Opus 4.1 in agentic tool use, computer use, multilingua and many other. Beating all of this other model in finance, law, medicine and STEM. In regards to misaligned behavior scores, this is better. First let's see how it compares with Claude 4.1. We are going to ask you to generate 3D items using 3JS. For that I'm going to use Chat LLM from Abacus AI. Here you can generate the code, also you can preview the code directly like this. You can get started for $10 per user built monthly, chat with large PDFs, access to top large language models as you can see here with loads of other features such as deep agent, image generation, video generation, deep research and much more. I'll provide the link in the description to try it out. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. So if I choose the drop down, you can see multiple models here. So I've got Claude Opus 4.1 and Sonnet 4.5 to compare. So I'm going to generate the code. First, creating a 3D rotating cube. So adding the prompt here in 3.js and then clicking enter. Now it's working behind the scenes and you can see it's writing the code. And here is a 3D rotating cube. And this is really nice with shadows as well. And I can press my arrows on my keyboard or I can even move with my mouse. That is really nice. This is Claude 4.5 Sonnet. Let's see Opus 4.1. And here is Opus. Opus added extra particles around the cube and that is also really nice. But the shadows in 4.5 Sonnet looks much better than this one. So clearly 4.5 Sonnet is the winner. Here is Terrain Flight Mode with Sonnet 4.5. And this is really nice. You can go through the mountain. No. Now let's see 4.1 Opus. For some reason, 4.1 Opus is not working in the first shot. So even here, 4.5 sound is much better. This is for product configuration. And you can see a chair here. So I'm going to choose the color. And you can see it's changing. Backrest color. And it's really nice. I can even look around and even I can see the shadow. This is 4.5 Sonnet. This is Opus. And you can change the color here, same as before. I can change the material, configuring armrest and other things. Lighting, directional light, front view, back view, left view. So it gave me more option compared to Sonnet 4.5. So here is Space Shooter game from Sonnet 4.5. And this is really nice as well. So I can play this game right from a browser. And I really like the quality of this game as well. And this is Opus and I've got multiple options here. And I can see this is slightly different from the other one. Here also I can move here and there and then shoot. This is really nice. Even for this, the quality of the animation was much better than Sonnet 4.5. Here is Sonnet 4.5 with data dashboard. So I can choose show ribbons, theme toggle, side view, top view, XYZ axis, front view. And I can even export as CSV. This is really nice. And for this, the data is not loading. Opus 4.1. So a city generator from Sonnet 4.5 and this looks more realistic and I can even construct a new city. Generate a new city and it's ready and I can view that. And this is Opus 4.1. This isn't as expected. So overall it's very clear that Claude Sonnet 4.5 is better than all of this in regards to the programming test we've just done. One more thing I want to show you is managing context on Claude developer platform. Context windows have limits, but by managing it properly, 
by automatically removing stale tool results from context, saving critical information to the memory, this can perform better. Before context editing, this is how it looks like. After context editing, you can see we still have some available context to use. So clearly there's performance improvements with this context management. So that's what been introduced with the latest updates. And I will cover this in in depth in the upcoming video. So stay tuned. Next, they got Cloud Agent SDK. Before we've seen multiple agentic framework, but Anthropic Cloud bringing its own agentic framework. Same like OpenAI Agent SDK. So you can create multiple agents such as finance agent, personal assistant agents, customer support agents, deep research agents, and make them work together to complete a complex task. And these agents work in a feedback loop, gather context, take action, and verify the work. Same like self-reflection in AI agents. Context engineering is built in. That is one of the key feature. Considering you have a large file, such as logs, user uploaded files, this SDK decide which way to load these into context using grep or tail, storing only relevant information rather than everything. That's when context management is important. Saving what is necessary and discarding what is not necessary. You can integrate this agent with tools such as search emails, fetch inbox, and many other. This also support MCP. Through that, you can integrate with any other softwares available. It has inbuilt guardrails such as defining rules, visual feedback. Here there's a layout, are elements positions correctly? Styling, do colors, fonts, and formatting appear as intended? Content hierarchy, responsiveness. So previously, human need to do all of this thing as a part of their testing, but now they can integrate AI to do all these tests. And here you can see it reads like this and can give a proper feedback. LLM as a judge. That's how it's going to act like. I will also create a dedicated video for this, so stay tuned. Next, we have Claude Code built into VS Code. So rather than using any other agentic system, you can use Claude Code within VS Code. That makes your work much more efficient. Overall, I'm really impressed with this model, and I'm going to create more videos to test this model to create tools, AI-powered application, agentic system. So stay tuned. Considering you already like Claude Sonnet 4.5, I also created another video about Grok, the latest model, which I have done some testing and I highly recommend for you to watch so you can compare this output with Grok. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.